I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta in the Westpac Weather Studios, and I want to break down the intensity of tropical systems, specifically with the Saffron Simpson scale, and how it may differ and also be similar to the scales used in the Western Pacific. So first off, well, you need those tropical ingredients, and that is same all over the world. Warm sea surface temperatures, abundance of moisture, low vertical wind shear, and when all that comes together, of course, we start to get a tropical low develop and it starts off with the lower end of the scale tropical depression tropical storm you might get up to one two three four or five which we're talking about catastrophic now four and five is basically a super typhoon if you're in the western pacific that is really the case for all the different agencies now pagasa used to have a super typhoon scale a couple of years ago that was off the chain 220 kilometer per hour winds was what it took to be a super typhoon but they have changed that here back in i believe 2022 and now it really matches up with the rest of the agencies or a good portion of the agencies across the Western Pacific. From Hong Kong to Malaysia to China to Taiwan, they all expected at 185 kilometer per hour, 10 minutes sustained winds, you have a super typhoon. Now, JMA, KMA a little bit different, but JMA also has it, but at 190 five kilometer per hour winds the point is once you get to 185 to 195 you're talking about some very significant damage which we go back to a cat four to five that would be about that threshold right in there where you're talking about a very serious damaging winds and of course well it's a super typhoon and there's a reason why they call it that so some serious stuff going on so just keep that in mind that a couple of the agencies do differ kma and jma but if you're talking about pagasa it does really match up and overall 185 195 is not that much different both are going to sufficiently relocate your home if you're hit with winds at that intensity but uh yeah just a little look at the uh, scale here if you do have any storm head into your direction make sure you follow advice from your local warning agencies know that from official sources that includes pagasa if you are in the philippines jma if you're in japan or if you're a military anywhere in the western pacific it's the joint typhoon warning center and always check and prepare just make sure you have an emergency kit ready as we enter tropical season i'm meteorologist robert spetta with western pacific is there anywhere anything you would like to learn more about in these short little educational type videos i would be happy to hear it and as always thanks for watching and stay safe out there friends